Hi, and thanks for joining me in the Adobe Illustrator in Under 10 tutorial series where we discuss techniques in Adobe Illustrator in under 10 minutes. In this particular session, we are going to discuss the Symbol Sprayer tool. Now, this is a very, very large tool with a lot of options, so I'm only going to cover a small portion of it just to give you an understanding. You're going to have to fool around with this tool to get used to it. Okay, so let's get started. The first thing we want to do is we're going to hit Shift and S on our keyboard or go down to the icon that looks like a spray paint can. So that's our simple sprayer tool. Now we want to, essentially what it does is it, it takes an instance of a symbol and it multiplies that instance. Now you may ask what's the benefit of that? Well, let's say you have a scene where you got to create blades of grass. What you would do is you would create one and you can then take that one blade of grass and you can make it a symbol. You can then use the symbol sprayer tool to then recreate that grass by holding down the actual sprayer and then layering these on the actual artboard and then you can use the other tools to manipulate the art that's there. So I'm going to show you how to do that utilizing one of the symbols that we have here. So if your symbol window is not open, we're going to go to window, go to symbols, and then we're going to click one of the symbols and then you'll notice if we have our symbol sprayer we have a big circle that's on the actual screen and we can click and hold down and you'll notice that we are getting these outline look of these little circles. These circles are indicative of the actual symbol that we're spraying and we let it go and now we have a bunch of instances of those on the actual artboard. Now I'm going to hide the symbol window and I'm going to actually double click and we can change how we want this to actually move. So right now the diameter of the tool is actually set to 2.78 inches. We can increase or decrease this, the intensity, as well as the symbol set density. Now if right now, because I'm using a tablet pen, I can change this from fix to pressure, stylus wheel, tilt bearing, and rotation, just like we do for any other tool that requires pressure or can be manipulated by pressure. Uh, we can change scrunch, size, spin, screen, stain, and style. Uh, each of these are different uh, properties that I will not go into because like I said, it's pretty hefty and I want to cover these individual pieces down here. So we're just going to click OK. I wanted to show you that there are options. Click OK. We could click in our actual symbol sprayer option to get our drop down and we can choose the shifter tool which pushes the actual symbols, the scruncher which scrunches them together, the sizer which increases the actual size, the spinner tool which will rotate them which you won't see on these because they're primarily spheres and the stainer tool which will change the actual saturation that's actually on these symbols themselves the screener tool which is the same thing it's uh, more of an opacity tool and the styler tool so I'm going to click each one and show you real quick what they do so right now we're utilizing the shifter tool and as we move this, you'll see they have arrows in the directions that they're going to push and pull. And when I let go, now it adjusts accordingly. And I can do the same thing and keep pushing them around. Think of them as marbles on a table and you're using your hand to push these out the way. This will work for any symbol that you have on your screen. So we're going to go back. We're going to select the next option, which will be the scruncher tool. And we're going to click these and you'll notice now it's pulling them together as much as it possibly can bunching them up okay that's what the scruncher tool does we are going to go to the sizer tool you'll notice now we have a larger versions we are going to go now to the spinner tool we're going to use this now because we can't see it because they're spheres you can still look at the arrows to see that the arrows are changing the rotation depending upon where I spin and it will go according luckily these have highlights on them so now the highlights have shifted depending upon where I was actually changing this so they're not all going to be the same so then our next option if we were to click and hold it's going to be the stainer tool and when we click that Let's actually change the color here. We can actually stain these with this color. And I'm sorry because I didn't have that selected at first. So we select our color, and then we can utilize that to change what we want to stain the color to. Okay? Now, our next option screener tool. And you'll notice that the heavier we push down, the actual more transparent it's going to become. The lighter the less transparent but if I were to let's say I click right here and just hold now they practically disappear 
okay? And then our last option is the Styler tool. And let me open this up. We can select the Graphic Style. And you have to open that up in your Window Options. So go to Window, Graphic Style. And then when you slide over them, it will apply the Graphic Style to that specific symbol. Now, you also have options in your actual Symbol window. To take these, you can make a new symbol from the already created symbol here. We can redefine a current symbol, duplicate a current symbol, delete the symbol, edit the current symbol, place a symbol instance on the artboard. We can place a single instance of one of these on the artboard. We can replace it. We can break the link to it if there is a link somewhere to a file that is a symbol. Reset the transformation that we may have adjusted. Select all unused and delete those if they're not there. Select all instances and then we could also delete those as well. Sort them by name. Thumbnail view shows us this is how we manipulate the views in here. And then of course we have our symbol options, which we've already done. And then our symbol libraries, we're just like color libraries. And we have different various uh, options that we can change. So if I wanted to select this and I go back and I go to my symbol sprayer tool, I can now let's change this real quick to that. I can then place those on the artboard as well. So that's how you utilize the actual symbol sprayer tool and its options that are underneath. Uh, take some time. Uh, fool around with it. It's fairly easy. Each one is just there are a lot of options that are listed there. So make sure you get familiar with it. I suggest going over this about two to three times. Make sure you're familiar with the things that I've stated and so what these actual items do individually. Uh, once you get the hang of it, it's a breeze. It's no problem. Uh, if you have any questions, you can find me online www.theonewillfocus.com or on all social media, especially Instagram, at the one will focus, all spelled out, T-H-E-O-N-E-W-I-L-L-F-O-C-U-S. I hope you enjoyed, and I look forward to seeing you in the next tutorial. Take care.